Yeah, well, there's a lot of value differences between Aboriginal communities and mainstream, but the biggest one is that you're in an Aboriginal community, you're part of a community. For instance, the decision-making in communities is based on ngayang or wangain, a oneness of mind, body and soul. To be at one with others, not to be an individual out by yourself, a lone island. And I think that's one of the major differences in Western society where we teach our kids to you know, be ready to go off by themselves and conquer the world by themselves. Uh, in Aboriginal communities, you're taught that you're part of an extended family, uh, not just within your own tribal group, uh, but your mother's mother's tribe and your, uh, up to your grandmother's tribe and down to your grandchildren's tribe and so forth. And, and the co cross relationship between all those different groups. Uh, everybody has has a role to play in terms of uh, in the kinship system you're an uncle to somebody your father to somebody and it's much the same as in Western society you you are those different relationships to somebody but Western society talks about in, in the way where I could uh, I was just hearing it on ABC this morning they're talking talking about how you know I could get married and divorced and married and divorced you know what the hell you know <laughs> that's a very mainstream idea that me as the individual is important here wherein the main main core value in in aboriginal society is that no you don't do those sort of things because they all have implications on the children and everybody else in the community there's ramifications that can cut across and you're part of a community you're part of a community you're an important member of that community because you have a lot of people looking after you. But that means you have a lot of other people to look after at the same time. It's a two-way street. I think that's the major difference. Mm -hmm.